Hi guys, my name is Raz with AutoDS and today we'll show you how to use two very important features on your active listings page and that is how to filter your active listings and then perform bulk change on the filtered items. To get started, please go to the left side menu bar and click on the active listings tab. Once you're on this page here, you'll be able to see all of the items that are currently live and being monitored by AutoDS on your store we'll need to select the items that we want to see and apply bulk change on. To that end, we'll use the filter option right here. Now you can filter the active listings for a single store and if you have more than one store, you can select additional or all of your stores to see data for all stores together. Next, we'll need to select the settings that we'd like to filter our active listings by. So we can filter based on quantity, from 0 to 100, for example, based on items that have sold and number of sales. We can filter based on the current sell price, let's say items up to $250 and more than $5. Here we can filter based on watchers for the item and here we can filter based on views. Let's look at items with more than 20 views, so I'll simply put a lower limit and I won't put an upper limit. Now if there's any settings that you don't want to filter by, simply leave the boxes unchecked. Let's scroll further down and see what other settings we have. Here you can filter based on your break even, percentage profit and additional profit settings. And here we can filter based on the total profit that this listing has made us. If we scroll further down, we have some more advanced filtering options. So we can see all the items that have been uploaded between a certain date range. All the items that have not sold between a certain date range and all of the items that did have sales within a certain range. And here we can set the sold quantity in our date range. We can filter based on items that have a tag if you've assigned any or listings that don't have any tag. Lastly, on the bottom of the page, we can filter our items based on in or out of stock. We can filter our items based on disable or enable allow marketplace for the monitoring of non-prime items. Of course, this is relevant only when the supplier is Amazon. We can filter based on disabled or enabled stock monitoring for our items, disabled or enabled auto orders for the items, and we can filter based on disabled or enabled price monitoring for any of our active listings. Here we can select the suppliers that we'd like to see. So I'd like to see all Amazon US items. And lastly, we have the Vero filter. This will show you all Vero notification items, items that have a Vero notification in the title, items that have Vero keywords in the brand or manufacturer, and items that have a Vero notification keyword in the description. And whenever I'm ready and I know exactly which items I'd like to see, I'll click on filter. Now that I've filtered my active listings, I can select one or more of these items and apply bulk change on them. Let's say we want to raise our profit by $3 for all of these items. But wait, my items already have profit settings. I don't want to replace the additional profit, I want to add $3 on top of the existing profit. To do that, we'll need to enter the amount that we want here and change current profit up or down by a set amount. If I'll scroll further down and I'll click on apply to all listings, this change will be made on all of the active listings that are currently filtered according to our preference. So I'm able to change all of these items together. The system will of course ask us for confirmation. And whenever I'm ready, I'll click on Save Changes. 
please make sure that the number of items showing here is concurrent with the actual number of items you'd like to apply this bulk change on. And also, please take in mind that bulk change is sent as a single request directly to eBay and can take up to 60 minutes to perform. Whenever I'm ready, I'll click on Change Details. And that's it, bulk change is on its way. To check on the status of your bulk change, you can always click on the bulk change tab, scroll to the top, and click on all bulk changed items. Here you can see the time and date of our change, number of items to be updated, and of course the current status, we're still waiting on eBay for this one. I hope you have enjoyed this quick tutorial about how to filter your active listings and then perform bulk change on the filtered items. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.